NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Picking him up live now at the 10th. Been a steady performance so far early in this first round, but at some point, Frank, they need to take steady to spectacular. Yeah, I think that's a good point, Rich, and, um, and really sooner rather than later, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, steady becomes boring if it stays on for too long. disappointed with that because it lands in the rough and it appears to be fairly thick over there. Well, certainly playable from here. Ball is in the first cut. Not too bad. Not terrible, but not his best. An outside chance, really, for, uh, for Birdie, but um, really... It was a, a rather poor approach shot. So a long putt there and just didn't read it quite right. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Oh my goodness, Frank, that is painful. Oh yeah, that's the you'd rather miss the hole at times, wouldn't you? That is another bogey. It's getting messy, Frank. Ouch. Now to the par for 11th, just a shade under 440 yards. Where are the difficulties here, Frank? The water down the left, but the hole keeps going that way, almost in a, a semi-horseshoe fashion. Two bunkers down the right, they always catch the stray tee shot, but um, once again, you, you don't have to hit driver here. You've got to get that ball in play. Frank, this is a way to make golf easy when you can hit it that deep. Oh, I would say, I know that first number's a three. I'm guessing the second one's a two. Let's call it shot landing close to the flag stick. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Back to par for the round. Seeing it up here on the 12th, 574-yard par 5, Frank. Another one that's reachable, obviously long and straight. That rough down the right side, though, is normally very thick. Uh, avoid the two bunkers, lots of contours and undulations around the screen. Oh, that's 
fine. Great Bobby Jones used to say the hardest shot in golf's the next one. Judging by that light, it's not going to be too hard. And from the fairway for his second shot here. Terrible. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. Back-to-back -back birdies, we'll see. That takes him to one under on the deck. Frank, this is an interesting hole. It's a par 4 13th, and it isn't necessarily a driver off the tee. What are the options? Yeah, you break it down. 250 off the tee leaves 120. There's nothing wrong with playing the hole that way. You get a little overambitious here and uh, run out of fairway. That second shot over water. Whoa. is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. Well, Frank, obviously way too much club there. You've got to think something like that. At least misread the wind. This is never going to sit down. Just averted danger right there. So close. Why does he have all the luck? Kidding me, that was right on the edge. I tell you, he wants to do over there. Well, not in contention, but in for par. Frank, as we come to the 14th of par three, what's ahead for the players? Once again, another tough par three coming up. A narrow at the front. It gets a little wider the further you go up this green. Safely on deck. That's an outstanding shot right there, and it sets up a really good look at birdie. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Comfortably inside that cut line, the former national champ makes birdie. We're here at the 15th now, and a big dog leg right on this one. Frank, what's the best route to take to shoot the low number? You've got to look at that run out down the left side, which is about 320 yards. Um, if you can stay short of that, then that gives you a perfect shot into this green. Long and straight. That's how you do it. This is just a superb performance. Great round to this point, Frank, and you can really see that reflected in his mood today. 
Yeah, it just looks too easy. Uh, swinging the club beautifully. Ball's going exactly where he, where he wants it to. He's not trying to take too many risks. So consequently, he's getting birdie opportunity after birdie opportunity. Knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. This one's tracking. So into the top 15 on the leaderboard with that birdie. A few more, and who knows, maybe top 10 or top 5. That's the end of round one, and we saw a lot of good golf out there today, Frank. And it was a bonus to uh, anyone that got off to a good start today. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. It's second round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. We're at the Bay Hill Club and Lodge in Orlando, Florida, site of one of the PGA Tour's premier stops, the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Always attracting a great field, and through the years it has been the scene of just some championship play from one guy in particular. Tiger Woods has won there an incredible eight times. Generates some momentum here at the seventh hole. This for birdie. Makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under for the round. Couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. A 
A good effort, a good par putt. Let's move on to the eighth, and Frank, what's ahead here? Big par four, just over 450 yards. Um, ideally, you want to get it down by that bunker where it's nice and flat, because that second shot, you, you know what's coming up. Game's about rhythm. It, when you have good rhythm, it just looks effort, effortless. To hit the ball 300 yards through the air, that easy. Just a good solid tee shot right there, about 280 yards. A good 200 yards away from a good lie in the fairway. Looking shot. So a chance for Birdie after another solid approach shot. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for Birdie. This is a pretty good performance right here. Six under for the tournament. Final hole now of the front side. It's a 474 yard par four. And Frank, you've played it before. What works best here? Well, ideally a nice little draw off the tee. But the hole's quite weird because the, the tee shot shapes to the left and yet the green goes the other way. This looks good. Certainly is. It is a windy day out here, Frank. My hat just blew off. This is going to affect the players' shots, that's for sure. There's a bunker over there. I think he's headed for it. A bit unfortunate in the bunker, Frank. Well, it'll be interesting to see what his bunker play's like. Frank, there's nothing like catching a bunker shot just perfectly. Splashes out, lands softly, and just runs up to that hole. Yeah, it's like 3D. There's the component in the strike where it's going to land, and then the third part of it is how much will it roll. Now that is a shot that will be replayed over and over. It's a consistent theme here at Bay Hill, if you can carry it 300 yards. Bay Hill always favors the longer hitter. Explode. That is big. I mean, really big. So that sets up a tougher second shot, missing the fairway with the drive, now in the rough. Just in the first cut of rough, not a bad lie. The only issue is he might get a jumper here. Part of this second nine, a good approach shot. Now, pretty good chance for Birdie. It's that sneaky distance.
And with that birdie, leads to third place. So that is a top 10 performance through two rounds, Frank. It's always nice to know that you have a shot with two rounds left in the tournament. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Welcome to the King's Palace. This is Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo, set to bring you all the action for EA Sports. Today, we're here at Arnold Palmer's Bay Hill Club and Lodge. Frank, it's right in the heart of Orlando, Florida. You've played this course before. What do you need to look out for? Ideally, you've got to hit the ball with a high, soft landing flight, which is uh, not, a, not a shot that most amateurs have in their bag. But uh, Florida courses, they differ from a lot of the other courses within, the, within North America. And what uh, they lack in change of elevation, they make up in difficulty by the use of water and very firm greens. It is a par 72 with a tough finishing stretch.
this whole thing. Wow. Not on the fairway here. This could be a tough shot coming up next. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Frank, I think he flushed that one. Oh, this, is, this is going, going, gone. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Yeah. That's what everyone else is going to say, except him. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Some impressive numbers out here now, nine under for the tournament. Frank, one of the things I like about Bay Hills, it requires you to hit clean, strong golf shots. And here's another case at the par 3 14th. It's more than 200 yards. Another one, really, you've just got to play it through the air. You can't play this like an open championship run up par 3. Must fly it onto the green. Not terrible, but not his best. An outside chance, really, for uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Looking putt, just not falling right now. You know, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. So a tester from four feet. <laughs> Workmanlike hole, he walks away with a par. Frank, deep in the round at the 15th, you need to maybe make something happen. How difficult is that with such a huge dog like here? Once again, make sure you know the distance to carry the bunker or run out. You've got to play to your strength. Look at that one run out. Just blistered that tee shot. Well, that has to be 325 if it's an inch. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. That's well played. Oh, good look at Birdie. Par yesterday. Now for birdie. with that birdie moving into the top five on the leaderboard and we're starting to uh, notice the name back on the tee here at the 16th frank lay it out for us what's ahead on this hole well even though there's two bunkers one on the left and one on the right it's the shortest of the four par fives you can almost take those out of play and have just a mid iron in here but we all know what's coming up Oh, that's 
Vince Vaughn. Frank, you played in conditions all over the world. Here come the wins now. What's the mindset? Well, this is really what separates the men from the boys. This is where you've got to tell yourself, and it's an advantage to you. Um, obviously, the scores will go up a little bit, um, given the conditions. But once again, this is going to suit the stronger player today. You like the old phrase, swing easy when it's breezy? Definitely when you're hitting it into a head breeze. But um, if down breeze, tear it up a little bit, try and ride that wind some more. Just averted danger right there. So close. Why does he have all the luck? Pretty long putt right here. You'd be happy to get it to within two, three feet. Gotta be kidding me. That was right on the edge. I tell you, he wants to do over there. He's about to put it together right now, Frank. Doing that trio at the top. Frank, deep into a round. Par 317. Water. Bunkers. Long shot. What are you thinking as you're stepping on this tee? You just take three and move to 18. Should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. Good clean contact. A nice result. And a chance for birdie coming up. This one just requires a little bit of focus. So one shot closer to the lead with that birdie. Frank now one of the signature holes here at Bay Hill, 18. Holes got a little easier over the years with the new equipment. People getting it out there a little further, so you've got a shorter club in, but you've got to be wary of that run out on the right side. Good spot right there. Send a cut. Frank, these days golfers are training like high-level athletes from other sports. Rory McIlroy, for example, has been using a guy by the name of Steve McGregor who happened to be the trainer for the New York Knicks of the NBA. And part of his training now is high altitude. Um, the majority of the medal holders, for example, in the Olympics uh, or medal winners in the Olympics actually use high altitude training. You know, you can develop more red blood cells in a shorter period of time. But, um, you know, golf, we've had so many different types of training from the athlete side. But you go back to the old days of Henry Cotton beating an old tire. BJ Singh picked up on that. Or even the rhythm of Sam Snead. He used to count the rhythm. It was one, two, three. It was one at the top of the swing, two at impact, and three at the follow through. All those things are still very valid today. Given the situation, Rich, 
things so tight at the top. Very, very good birdie. That was huge right there. Still with a great chance to come away with this title. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Tee shot here, Rich, but gonna have to muscle this one out of the rough. Second shot now from 160 yards. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. Just five feet left. And that oh, certainly won't uh, hurt the cause. There's still some time. Frank, this is a great hole late in the round. Par five, 
and a chance to really make up some ground or extend the lead. I mean, you can make some things happen here. Shortest of the four par fives and reachable for just about everyone. But really, it's the second shot. The better the tee shot, the easier you make that second shot. Headed for the bunker, I think. Getting some sand in the shoes now. We're a second straight hole. He's in the bunker. Anything you do differently with your setup? Um, just dig my feet into the sand a little bit more, but make sure you focus on the exact spot on the ball you want to hit. Has it? Maybe wet. Into the tall cabbage. That ball is swallowed up. You'll need to be strong with this. Sets up well for the player. Birdie yesterday, a chance for another one today. He really likes this hole. Made birdie yesterday. Can he do it again today? Frankie took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. Always like this par three, Frank. Par three, 17th. Let me amend that. I like watching the best in the world play it because it can be daunting, especially with the pressure ratcheted up. When they have the tournament on, this green is brick hard. Um, a little bit downhill, that's about the only advantage you get. Good swing, good shot yet again. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Stay out, Frank. Did everything but go in. Nudge this one home, finish it up. It's a solid par right there, Frank. Uh, he'll be uh, moving to third place, inching his way to the top of the leaderboard. That appeared to be a good strike right there, Frank. No, oh, good. It's just towering. Look at that hanging in the sky. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Looks like you caught a flyer right there, Frank. I don't know what he caught. This is way too much. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot. Maybe get away here with par. Back in 1971, Frank, Arnold Palmer won the event 
That was eight years before he actually became the host. Beat one of the sweet swingers in the game, Julius Boros, by a shot. Yeah, Julius Boros is certainly a name to remember and a rhythm that everybody would like to copy. But, uh, you know, in the mid-70s, Arnold was just prolific. And uh, he, uh, he grew to really love and savor his own event. Once he put his name on it, the event just simply grew in stature. Frank, it was a great setting with great crowds. We saw plenty of very good golf. Your thoughts? Well, I think the course really extracted some of the, the golf that we saw. It forced these players to play uh, just some great golf. And you know, it wasn't just like a you know, pitch and a putt golf course. So I, I, I think seeing the guys tested, so seeing the players tested at this level, um, it was a treat.